assuming that it's plantar fasciitis, most people can get that treated very easily without much discomfort, if any discomfort at all. There are a number of things that are effective for plantar fasciitis. We're very conservative in that, although I'm trained to do surgery and love to do surgery, it's very rare that people actually need surgery for this problem. We usually start with more simple things. Most people have actually tried those by the time that they come in. Uh, uh, there's orthotics can help a great deal. A lot of times over-the-counter inserts or even semi-custom orthotics that are lower in expense can be effective as well, but most people have already tried those and not gotten better. It's important to make sure that you're wearing the right type of shoes in order to get rid of this problem, that you have the appropriate exercises to get rid of the inflammation and the mechanical stress on the bottom of the heel. And if we address all of those things, most people improve rapidly. Most people can actually get that information off of our website and try it if they think they've been plantar fasciitis or if they've been diagnosed with plantar fasciitis. If then they don't improve, we can try a number of other treatments. We also offer a number of advanced therapies for plantar fasciitis that are not surgery, including uh, platelet therapy, uh, which is a, a minimally invasive uh, way to use your body's own healing potential to correct the problem. We can also do uh, extracorporeal shockwave therapy, which is an advanced treatment, just no incision, no stitches, no anything like that, that is extremely effective in cases where they just can't improve with the other therapies that help most people. Uh, that's a very effective therapy and uh, will frequently relieve people's pain without any risk of associated with surgery.